I'm John Geddes. I'm the head of the University Department of Psychiatry, so that's within the University of Oxford, but I'm also the Director of Research and Development for Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust. Well, research is uh, the absolute lifeblood of any health service because unlike, for example, uh, car maintenance, we don't know everything about the human being. So research is not just about doing things better, but it's also about discovering more about the causes of diseases, and by doing that we get better ways of helping people. It's sometimes thought that research is what happens in universities, and it, it, you can't do it everywhere across the organisation. But it's, it's worth emphasising that at any point someone can have an interesting idea that might help us do things better. And that could be in the way that I provided care to a patient. It could be in the way that I run a ward. It could be in the way that I develop financial systems to be able to efficiently deal with the service of the business better. It could be in the way that I manage my staff or manage sickness or get people back to work quicker. These are innovative ways of doing it. And any research starts off with a bright idea about how to solve a problem. And the problem could be the lack of knowledge, or it could be about a problem that we, we just don't seem to be doing very well. So we need ideas for how we can solve that. And this is really what innovation and research is all about. The Oxford Academic Health Sciences Centre is a partnership between the two big NHS trusts. So that's Oxford University Hospitals NHS Trust and Oxford Health NHS Foundation Trust and the two universities in Oxford, that's Oxford University and Oxford Brookes University. And the, the really important thing about having a formal partnership is that it brings the top team of those institutions together to look at how they can facilitate the translation of scientific discovery and innovation into benefits for patients. So there's a real capacity for, for fantastic benefits for patients here. What we really want to be able to do is to get those innovations into clinical practice. But of course, we want to be able to develop those innovations, inventions, discoveries quicker, and we need patients to be able to participate in those studies so that we can discover things. The Oxford Academic Health Sciences Network is a little bit different because it spans a much broader area. And it's a much bigger collaboration and includes getting the most out of a far wider range of organisations across the whole of the Thames Valley and beyond actually. So it's not just about new drugs and new molecules, but it's also about smarter ways of delivering services better ways of getting patients involved with the care that they're getting, but making sure that any excellence gets transferred across the whole of the geographical areas as quickly as the possible. Oxford Collaborations for Leadership in Applied Health Research and Care, or CLARC, is um, a large programme of research that's funded by the NHS, so funded by the National Institute of Health Research, which is part of the NHS, and it's there to develop applied clinical research and also to assist in the implementation of research findings into clinical practice. Any healthcare system that doesn't include research in inevitably is going to be stuck at one point and won't be always trying to do things better, always trying to find out more about the causes of the disorder, trying to prevent disorders.